fruit, and more specifically berries, are my go-to summertime food invention story. You don't have to cook them or prepare them in any way, just pick them and then stuff them in your mouth. These little berries of life have saved me so many times. Did you know that there's a next level when it comes to berries? Yep, you can press them. No, not like in books. You craft a machine that presses the berries. It's called a fruit press. Smart name. Let's press some berries. I've played many hours of Inch's Story and built some really cool stuff. Somehow though, I never got around to building a fruit press. In my recent playthrough of the game, I have fully embraced the fruit press. Wow, that's a lot of wine. Yeah, I'm using a mod to get those cool bottles. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to press that fruit into some amazing juice and maybe something extra. Remember, no mods were used in the making of this video. Well, at least none that had to do with the fruit press. The first thing we need to do is craft the fruit press. This is not something you're gonna do at the start of the game. This is a mid-game play. You're gonna need the following items. A hammer, one ingot, doesn't matter what metal, a chisel, it doesn't matter what type of chisel, any chisel will do, fat and resin, my two favorite materials to hoard. Lastly, you'll need some boards. Any color type will do. I'm still holding out hope that the color of the wood you use would change the color of the item. I'm looking at you shelves and barrels. All right, you've gathered everything you need, now it's time to place the items into the crafting box, and voila, you have a press. Note, the hammer and the chisel will not be consumed when crafting. They will live to craft another day. There are a couple of other items you'll need to have on hand before we start. A bucket to catch the juice coming out of the press. You can use a jug, but the bucket holds 10 liters and the jug just holds three, so you're gonna spill some juice and no one likes waste. You're also gonna need a barrel. You could keep the juice in a bucket, but I think the barrel's better, plus, Wine. I like to have a jug or two for storage and transport. I'm not gonna show you how to make these things. You got this. I'll link my clay video at the top of the page if you need help making some jugs. I didn't forget bowls. I'm sure you have a few extra laying around somewhere. It's finally time to juice. As we gather up some berries, let's talk about what you can juice in Vintage Story. The base game allows you to juice any berry and all fruit that comes from trees. Yep, apple cider's a thing. And it's wonderful. So let's make some juice. All right, we've got our berries. Let's press them into some juice. Place an empty bucket below the press. Make sure it's empty. A full bucket can't catch juice. Then place the berries into the press. 32 berries output 10 liters of juice. Here's a handy graphic showing you berries to liters. The minimum is 16 berries. Now let's turn the screw. You'll see the juice spilling out the sides. That's how you know it's working. I think there should be a little lip here that catches the excess so that you can drink after or during. No waste. Pay attention here. Just because the screw is all the way down doesn't mean the juice is done. When all the juice is pressed into the bucket, you'll be left with fruit mash, which I still think you should be able to eat. Fruit mash bars with honey and nuts. It sounds good, right? Since you can't eat the mash, you have two options. You can feed it to the pigs or the sheep, or you can let it rot and you can turn it into compost. Both are solid options. Circle of life. Storing the juice is easy. Take the bucket, and add it to the barrel. From here, you have a couple of options. You can leave it in the barrel and use a bowl to drink from it. How crude. Or a more civilized approach. You could craft a couple of jugs for longer enjoyment and ease of transport. All these containers can be used to store the juice. Bowls, buckets, barrels, and jugs. So many options. So why should you juice your berries? I think the number one reason is extending the life of the fruit. Berries are quick to rot, lasting just about two days. Juicing them will extend their shelf life, especially if stored in a cellar. Now, I know this isn't going to be your main food source, but it could supplement your stored food at least during the first few weeks of winter. Plus, it's fun to do, and another really cool game mechanic. No, I didn't forget about the wine. Those of you who watch my live stream know that I love the wine making process. I especially like to make wine with a couple of the mods I have installed. Wine and alcohol crafting and vintage stories for a whole nother video. However, if you take the fruit juice you just made, and I don't know, seal it in a barrel, you might get some wine or cider in seven days. Wine making, storing, and drinking is one of my new favorite vintage story pastimes. All right. You've got some fruit juice and maybe a couple of jugs of wine. Enjoy! Share your fruit press stories with me in the comments. What's your favorite berry to press? Mine? Blueberry, of course. I love the color. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.
video is over. Now it's time for you to do your part. Follow, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.